Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So today is going to be a little different topic. It's going to be a tutorial video for lower to mid-level players. And now, it gets hard, okay? I know. Task Forces, this is a Task Force tutorial video, by the way. Um, and it kind of applies to all levels, but it's mainly directed towards lower levels. I'm on my Let's Play account, and the last Let's Play free-to-play episode I had... I asked you guys, do you want the webcam up here or down here or up there? Um, and I'm testing around with it. This time, I'm going to have it up at the left. So it's going to be covering up my level and my medals, I guess, which kind of stinks. Um, a lot of people liked it down on the little bottom left. But just tell me if you guys like the bottom left, top right. If we do the top right, I'll have to move it down so you can see my diamonds. This is getting way too complicated for a tutorial video. Anyway, a few days ago I made a video, the best way to get loot for all level players and, or for, was it lower? No, it was all level players. And basically I told you guys to join a task force because task forces, that operation reward is amazing. So we'll go here, look at this operation reward. It may not seem like a lot, but 1200 stone is more than any player base on my map I'll be able to get at this level. Now this task force is kind of bad. I just joined a random task force. And I'm going to be telling you guys what you shouldn't be doing and what you should be doing when attacking an operation. Now, a lot of newer level players or low level players, they'll be like, okay, I'm not that good at Boom Beach. I don't want to like waste my attack. Guys, that's not how you attack in Boom Beach. You, basically, you need to, you're going to lose all your troops. It's guaranteed. Just try to do as much damage as you can for the team. I'm going to show you a replay of what not to do, then I'm going to show you a replay where I'm going to do a live attack of what you should be doing. So, you're going to lose all of your troops, that's guaranteed, unless you're just trying to take down the HQ just without anything hitting your troops. But if you're like attacking a base that's like the first attack or the first five attacks at a lower level, you're still going to lose a lot. Now, there's a few things of what you should do. You should not try to just flank the base and just destroy all these power cells. It does not help the task force, okay? Unless it has, you know, there's always exceptions. If the task force tells you to do that, go for it. But as a general, general rule of thumb, this is not a lot of power cells. Usually there'll be a lot more power cells in an area and you'll see these lower level players just go up there, place their troops, and have their troops take down all the power cells and then retreat as soon as you get in the line of fire. I gotta tell you guys, that's the most annoying thing for leaders and co-leaders to see. So if you do that, just don't do it anymore, okay? Now, it's worth it, okay? I just gotta say it's worth it. Attacking and losing your troops is definitely worth that extra bonus loot you got. So that guy just took down... Uh, flat line so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you an attack of what not to do I did this attack last time just so I could show you guys what it is this is what you should not be doing just dropping artillery and then retreating that's the most pointless attack ever and I still have troops and I know my task force got upset with me but you know what that's just how I go about it um, no that's not how you should go about it that's how I was going about it to show you a tutorial anyway so first things first when I look at a base, I see a problem. I'm using hookah, and there's a lot of rocket launchers. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do, guys, is I'm gonna try to get, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to stay out of the rocket launcher range and try to clear as many boom cannons as I possibly can with my troops. It is still helping the task force, guys. It's still helping. The next guy then can come in with a never attack and just take down the HQ without having to worry about these boom cannons. Now, this is what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to attack these boom cannons and then flare back here and attack these boom cannons even if I'm still living, living flare in the back. Because, you know what? There's no point in me taking down these three buildings. There's no point in me taking down these three bu these buildings on my map. All I need to take down are these boom cannons and then I'm going to try to focus on some mortars. Now, my troops are super low level, so chances are I won't even be able to take down with boom cannons but this is how you attack an operation so we hit attack and what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our troops down here right here and I do have shocks and I am gonna be dropping shocks so I don't lose my heavies here and this is gonna be a little shorter video than normal guys I'm just trying to teach you a tutorial um, so yes I only have two heavies and there's a very good reason for that um, I'm not going to explain it here, but there is a reason. 
why I only have two heavies. Um, so, this heavy is going to die. And then I'm going to have just Zookas left. And we are going to flare to the Mortar. And the Mortar is going to kill our Zookas. It's going to be a one shot. It's going to be awful. Um, but that's just something I have to deal with, guys. And I should be able to take down one Mortar. And yeah, there's no way I could take down the other one. And that is a successful Operation Attack as a lower to mid level player. Now if you are a higher level player, chances are you won't be doing these operations. Chances are you'll be attacking super high operations. The problem is I still see super high people in super high operations that are on planned attacks that do not follow the notes and they try to go from the side and just take down a ton of power cells. They have a theory that, oh, I'm just going to take down all the power cells on the right side so I can get energy to take down a defense. And yes, there are situations where that is actually worth it, but most of the time it's not worth it. So I'm going to try to make this video as short as I possibly can. We're going to end this episode on an upgrade note. We got our daily reward. You can see here that I... Is that more stone? I believe that's more stone than I got when I operation reward, but there's a reason for that. Um, but I got a lot less gold, but more stone. It's, it's a little weird. We're going to grab the stone because I definitely need myself some stone. And we do have Dr. T. We're not attacking Dr. T today. We'll get one upgrade in. So I am going to attack Dr. T a little later today when my troops are all trained up. We can't upgrade that anymore. We can't upgrade that. Can we get... We'll just upgrade our storage. We'll get our stones. Wood storage, I mean. Yeah. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, as always. Just trying to make it as short as possible for you guys. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.